I'm flying NY to LA, but there's so much to say. Feeling like I owe you. So I don't. Singapore, my time with you was amazing, but it has to come to an end. We're heading to Japan next, and just as the case was when I landed in Singapore, I didn't have a hotel or an Airbnb booked. And that's also the case here in Japan, where you guys see me getting my SIM card and my money right now. Now, there's some pros and there's some cons to this. Pros, you save some money the first night when you're booking a hotel because a lot of the hotels just want the rooms to be filled. The cons are you are sort of stuck with some crappy selection. There's no guarantee that the hotels will even have any discounted rooms. Now, the verdict, we got a solid room for a solid price. It isn't too big. It's not too fancy. It's nothing like San Marina Bay but it's our new home in Japan and I dig it so I'll give you guys a quick little room tour and then we're gonna get going to the conveyor belt sushi spot that I absolutely love so if you want to see a small sample of Shibuya nightlife then stay tuned so here's a look at the hallway of our uh, our hotel it's about 12 minutes away from Shibuya here's all my sneakers I just put on the floor we got my luggage I have a couch bed thing so this is my situation right here Tim and Beth have a I think a king-size bed but and it looks pretty the solid the queen Really small room. Over here we have the restroom. Here's like a little look at it. Very small. We got some towels, the toilet that heats your butt. We also have the shower. And uh, yeah, it comes with a lot of nice stuff too. Look, we got the soap, we got face wash, we got face oil, we got So yeah, let's get going to the conveyor belt sushi. I absolutely love to go to. I think I go there twice every Japan trip at a minimum. And it's a little bit cold, so I'm very happy I bought this Nike sweater while in Singapore. If you guys haven't seen that shopping vlog, I'll leave them linked down below. And uh, we also have the Atmos air crazy light 2 and these were gifted to me from a subscriber who actually lives in Japan so shout out to David once more I think we're gonna take an outfit photo in front of Atmos with these kicks So this is day two of the Japan vlogs. We got Welcome some pretty good sleep five. last night. Season five Japan you know actually. Season four last year started off with the Japan vlogs back in May. So I was living in Japan for a full month with my girlfriend and my best friends as well. So if you guys haven't seen the season four vlogs or my other Japan vlogs, check them out. I'll leave them linked down below. But today, a very special day in uh, Japan. We have the Pokemon movie releasing the Detective Pikachu. And on top of that, go they're also it. releasing a uh, special Adidas and Pokemon collaboration. They're doing a Pikachu sneaker and a Squirtle sneaker. So we're gonna see if we can buy those today, do some sneaker shopping in Japan. I think we're gonna go to like Shibuya, Harajuku, you know, the usual spots where I've actually done some shoe shopping and thrifting guides as well. But uh, to start off our day, we're hungry. How, Tim, Tim, how hungry are bro, you? I'm super mad, juicy hungry, bro. I'm ready for some Japanese good good. Juicy hungry, that's the thing. So I'm gonna take them to Yoshinoya today. It's sort of like a Japanese fast food, but it doesn't make you feel like crap after you eat pretty yummy and I would recommend you guys I'm check them out. I'm not used to that though bro. Every time I eat I have to feel like crap bro. That's the <laughs> way Mexican food is bro. All the tortillas and all that. Oh so my gosh. I guess we'll, we'll see what the change is like. Alright so we're here. Let's uh, get inside and show you guys some food. <laughs> Oh, 
One of my favorite sneaker stores to go to in Japan is called Atmos. They have everything. They have so many different collaborations. They carry all the brands like Nike, Adidas, Jordan. And today we're hoping to find those Pikachu and Adidas collaborations. I come here every time because they usually have some exclusive sneakers to Atmos that you can't find in any other store in Japan. So if you have a second in Japan, stop by Atmos. This is the Harajuku location. They also have one in Shibuya. They're all over the place in Asia. And I think there's one coming to the Philippines very soon. So with that said, let's get inside of Atmos Harajuku and see what they have. So the next store we're going into is called The Box. Now I don't know if it was named this when I was here last year, but they do have pretty much a mixture of really good heat and then they have some GR as well. So let's go inside and see what they have. So checking out the middle of the store, we have some Air Jordan 1 Lows that just came out not too long ago. Purple and black hits. And the Icy Soul, it's like a Concord Air Jordan 1 Low. That's pretty cool. They also have these new Air Max 98s that just came out. Okay. They have a small selection of New Balance and Puma. We have some Vans here as well. So just the everyday stuff. No crazy, crazy collabs. I like the orange camouflage print they have here though. They actually have a lot of really cool Vans right here. I remember this from a long, long time ago. Like Always Fresh Apparel Days. The black Python like snakeskin one. That's pretty cool. We have the off-white style Nike Cortez. Got a few Air Force Ones up there. And uh, nothing, nothing really catching my eye at the moment. We got some SBs as well, camo. We got the denim as well with the bandana print on the sides. That's pretty cool. More denim, Nike SBs, fire. Checking out the Air Max One selection. They have a lot of colorways here as well. And they have like the Spider-Man one. And then, ooh, the Ricardo Tiskis. They got the undefeateds up there. And they have the Volt. The Volt, loud, loud Air Force One Low Utilities. You know what? I think I might have to pick these up today. So let's grab these and I'll uh, show you guys more of the store. Here's the final Nike back wall. A lot of different colorways. A lot of these we've seen before at the Atmos store. So nothing too, too crazy. They do have the atrocious Air More Up Tempo Air Max 720s. Ooh, we got the Skylines. I have these back at home. Ooh, they have the Air Force One Mid Utilities. These are fire. I like this colorway, black and red. They also have a bunch of clothing here as well. So a lot of the store is retail. Like if you guys look around and see all these like GR releases, these are all available for retail, but they do have some items for resale. So there is a mixture of retail and resale. Like for example, these Acronym Prestos, these are a resale price so don't think you got lucky just because you saw them on the shelves next to some other retail sneakers and then we also have some new babe here so it's not too much more expensive compared to the original babe store here in japan so they are pretty solid pricing and if you did miss out on an earlier release you can check out the store some more of the heat that they have are the uh, the free throw line air jordan threes we also got the pie 
Bowling Greens, the uh, homage, the homes, and the celebration pack Air Jordan 8s right there on the very back. At the window, they have some Air Force One off-whites. They have the neon yellow colorway. They also have the, uh, the black colorway too. We got some more. We got the Blazers. We got the Prestos. We got some Zoom Flies. All these are resale prices. And the last sneaker I want to show you guys are these Air Max Pluses from the Just Do It pack. I've actually never seen this like orange satin one before, and it has the Just Do It logo on the side. These are fire, man. These are really, really loud. Perfect for summer. So I wasn't planning to buy any other sneakers today other than the Adidas Pokemon ones, which we're still on the hunt for, but I did end up buying those uh, Air Force Ones that I showed you guys a second ago, the neon yellow colorway. These right here, the neon green, neon yellow Air Force One utilities. I should have bought these when they came out a long time ago, but I decided to just pass on them because I thought they were too loud. But as time has gone by, I've really wanted those Air Force One off whites, those neon yellow ones, and I'm not trying to pay resale for those. So we picked these up. We paid, I think like 25% over retail, which isn't too bad, but you can't find these anymore in Toronto. So happy to pick these up in Japan and I got them for tax free. Anyways, let's get going to the next sneaker store. We haven't found the Pokemon and uh, Adidas collaboration just yet. I think we're gonna be going to the Adidas store. They should hopefully have them. I just heard from the Atmos manager though that they actually were probably reselling right now. So a lot of people were entering the raffles to buy them and there was a raffle. So I'm unlikely to find them for retail, but a store that's gonna be having some shoes that are heat tomorrow is Tokyo 23. And they're gonna be releasing the Travis Scott ones tomorrow. Now the lineup here is gonna be first come first serve, but there's gonna be a small little trick to the lineup, which will, will mean I can't buy the shoes at all. You have to actually be wearing a pair of Travis Scott sneakers already. So either the Air Force Ones, the Air Jordan 4s, or what else was there? I think those were like the major releases at the moment. So yeah, you have to wear a pair of Travis Scott sneakers to line up for the Travis Scott ones tomorrow. Let's get going to, I think, Billy's and Shapters. They're another retailer here in Harajuku that has a lot of GR and also some Heat sneakers. So we'll go there and then we'll check out the Adidas store. Back of me, in the mirror, in the mirror. So inside of Billy's right now and checking out the sneakers that they have, they have a bunch of Adidas right at the front of the store, all the Night Jogger colorways that just came out not too long ago. We also got some exclusive, exclusive uh, Adidas, I'm not even sure what sneaker this is, but some exclusive to Billy sneakers. So they do have a lot of exclusive shoes here, just like Atmos, so let's throw those back. Here's a look at the center table with some heat. We got some Air Max 95s in this really cool colorway. I don't believe this is an OG colorway, but I think it definitely could pass as an OG colorway. We got some Element Reacts down there, and I think I saw some Yeezys in the back. Here's a look at the back wall, a lot of the runners, A6 New Balance Puma, and uh, yeah, here we have it. They actually have Yeezys still sitting here in Japan, readily available for retail. These are going for 37,000 yen. These are super, super plain. So if you were going to buy Yeezy and wear them pretty much every single day, this is a shoe that would go with a lot of outfits. We have some crazy Reebok pumps right here for 20,000. There's like gold colorway with a crazy design. They have some colorways of the Cell Endura I've never seen before. This one's actually way better than the pair that Puma sent me. And they have a bunch of collaborations on the Puma Thunder Spectra. Check this out. We have a Ferrari Puma Thunder Spectra. Did not know they actually made these. So that's pretty cool. And then we also have some more car collabs. We have AMG Performance Motorsports on this like teal colorway. These Mercedes-Benz Puma Thunder Spectras. That's actually really, really cool. And last but not least, we have a BMW collaboration with Puma on these. They actually have a Puma BMW collaboration on the uh, the Puma RSX. So that's pretty cool. That's actually, that's actually pretty cool. So uh, yeah. I like these a lot and we'll throw these back on the shelf. And I haven't seen these Air Force Ones before in my entire life, not even online. These are crazy, not my style, but still cool to find these like exclusive colorways that are only available pretty much in Japan. So we're done at Billy's and Tim actually almost got us kicked out filming his video. The manager got so pissed at us for filming. It was, it was incredible, but I managed to finesse it and the manager was so mad. Tim wanted to buy the shoes. The manager was like, no, no size. We don't have your size. <laughs> but we asked the other employees and they were very cool about it. So we got Tim's Ultra Boost 19 and uh, I actually picked up a pair of Air Jordan 1 Lows as well. So I'm very, very hyped. But next up, we're gonna go over to the Adidas store and uh, we're gonna check out if we have the Pikachu Adidas sneakers. So let's go check it out. So we're on our way right now to the Adidas store, but I just wanna let you guys know we will be doing some thrifting and more streetwear shopping videos very, very soon on the channel, probably later this week. So there's another one right behind me, a hype thrift store 
store called Blouse. I bought my Supreme Air Jordan 5s here a long, long time ago. I think like two and a half or one and a half years ago. But uh, yeah, there's just so many, so many stores in Harajuku. And this is our first day here, so we really don't have enough time to do all the shopping. So stay tuned, more Japan vlogs coming soon. And of course, check out the Japan vlog playlist. Now, let's check out the Adidas store. Crossing our fingers, they have the Pokemon collaboration. We finally made it to the Adidas original store here in Harajuku, right beside me. They're actually running an event as well, so the music is pretty loud, so I'll have to do some voiceover stuff while we're inside. But we stopped by the Adidas running store, and they did say that this store did get the Pokemon Adidas sneakers. So let's go inside and check it out. I've been trying, I've been failing To be more than you expect to see there's no winning, there's no winning for me A user, a self-abuser Consumed by apathy The wait is finally over. We're here at the Adidas Originals in Harajuku. Let's check out what they have in the store. These just came out. Got this like floral print. I'm pretty sure I've seen this on a tissue box or two. They also have these exclusive to the flagship store Adidas sneakers with the uh, boost on them. It sort of reminds me of the Alexander Wang sneakers. They have this one colorway here. They also have a pink colorway for the, for the ladies or for the grown men who like to wear pink. We got some more Adidas boost as well. Over here we got the Sobokov and this is like a true, true homage to soccer with the uh, the tongue right here. This is a Hender Scheme collaboration with Adidas. I think it's awesome that Hender Scheme is collaborating with Adidas because uh, yeah, it just it's gonna make for some fire collaborations. These are going for 23,000 yen. Probably one of my favorite sneakers of the day by far. And the leather quality is insane on these. They also did these here. I'm not too sure what the name of this model is, but it looks really clean as well. Definitely has these like dress shoe kind of vibes to it with the woven upper on the leather. Oh baby, and these, these are fresh too. They have a black colorway as well. I think, oh, I, I really don't know which one I like more. Let me know which colorway you guys like better, the black colorway or the tan colorway of the Hender Scheme with that pole in the top right hand corner right now. We have another Adidas Sobokov. These are straight fire, all black with some camouflage down the middle on the tongue. Oh my gosh. And the way the, uh, the black gradient goes into white in the back, Really, really nice touch on these. And even the uh, the ankle part right here, the inside is all leather. So really premium materials right here, going for 15,000 yen. This is a really fire soap cup. They got some 4D sneakers right here, the ZX4000 4D. Not really liking this colorway, so easy pass. We got some more of the LX Cons, the white colorway. They got the black colorway. We got some PODs. I've never seen this colorway before. These are pretty fresh. And then over here, we have the rest of the uh, the classics. All the classic Adidas sneakers everyone knows and loves. Superstars, Stan Smiths, everything. We got some of the uh, Adidas Falcons. They just started releasing them in men's sizing, which is pretty cool. They have a white colorway. They got a black colorway. We even have a, uh, ooh, this is, this is fresh. These are fresh. Anyways, these are going for 9,990 yen. Here's a look at all of the night joggers that they have. No colorways that really, really stand out to me that I haven't seen before. We've got the Pharrell NMDs still sitting, readily available. This is blue plaid colorway that just came out. Then we also have the NMD NMDs that have NMD on the side. That's why they're called the NMD NMDs. <laughs> and they have a black colorway here as well. And then they even have a Beavis and Butthag collaboration. That's uh, that's different, that's different. <sighs> All right, another L. Another L today at the Adidas store. They did not have them here. I looked everywhere, all the shelves, and apparently this location never got the Pokemon Adidas shoes, which is really surprising because it's the flagship store in Harajuku. So I asked the employees, you know, where can I find them? And he said it was an Adidas One release, like a pop-up. So I'm gonna have to try and find these Adidas Pokemon shoes somewhere else. We're gonna go to Hooters in Japan in a moment for dinner. And there's an Adidas store in Shibuya, which is also really, really big. So I'm crossing my fingers, hoping they have the Pokemon Adidas there. So let's get going to Japanese Hooters and the Adidas shoes. Shibuya location. My final hope of the night, Adidas Shibuya. Let's go inside and uh, hopefully we can get lucky. A 
Alpha Edge 4D for days. They have a bunch of them here just chilling. Lots of sizes. We got the Game of Thrones here as well. The House Lannister. Love these. Here's a look at more of the Ultra Boosts that they have. And if you want, you can actually test them in store. They have a treadmill, which is really, really cool. So try before you buy. It's a real concept here in Tokyo, Japan. They also have a ton of Ultra Boost 19s available. Pretty much every colorway that was released, they have them here. So if you haven't bought a pair yet, you can buy a pair like Tim, like he did today. And then let's go to the Adidas downstairs. Now we're heading downstairs to the Adidas Originals floor. I almost tripped and died right there. <laughs> the same stuff as the last Adidas store in Harajuku. So nothing nothing really catching my eye just yet. I really like the layout to the store though. Young 96, like they literally lay out the shoe and then they have all the colorways. Like that is not something I've seen at other Adidas stores. So same, same thing here. Night Jogger, boom. Every single colorway for the Night Jogger right here. That's so convenient. So if you know what shoe you want, you just gotta find the color. All right, so our uh, unlucky streak continues. They don't have the Pokemon Adidas at the store. In fact, they actually haven't even released yet in Japan. I don't know where I heard the news that the Adidas Pokemon were gonna release on the same date as Detective Pikachu, but they're not here. And they don't even know exactly when they're gonna release. So, uh, man, I might not even be in Japan when they release. That might suck, but crossing my fingers, they release in this next week. If not, I'll try and buy them in Toronto. But for now, I think we should get going over to Hooters, and Tim's actually looking at some shoes, so let's check up on Tim. Tim, what are we looking at, man? Pharrell Williams, Billionaire Boys Club. I didn't know it was a Billionaire Boys Club collab. I was gonna cop. They're selling on GOAT right now from 400 to 600. Right here, they're under, they're like 250 US. Mm -hmm. Bro, sold out. 